Hi, and welcome to a tutorial video by Virtual Flight Diaries on the Ursa Minor 32 Metal and the Pac-32 by Winwing for the Airbus aircraft series in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, there is a mention that it is a plug-and-play item, but it's not quite. There are some steps that you need to follow, and this tutorial is going to help you get there uh, in five steps. Real easy. Uh, it'll save you some headache especially uh, some of the tutorials out there, the items that they mentioned didn't work for me. So this is what worked for me. And once I accomplished all these five steps, it worked beautifully in the sim. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pull up your sim app pro. And there's a couple things you want to check. You want to go to the gear icon and you want to make sure that you are all up to date and you're on the latest version of SimApp Pro. Once you get that done, you're going to go back and you're going to click on your device. So right here is the uh, Ursa Minor 32 Metal and Pack. And when you're in here, you can go in, you can test all the buttons, all the levers, you know, just, you know, you can go through, make sure that everything works and that it's registering in the sim. That way you could tell that it's connected properly to your computer. Uh, as you can see, the throttle accesses, they're both button and access uh, set. So you can actually configure this thing for different aircraft other than the uh, compatible ones in the sim. You can assign accesses and button controls in the simulator itself. But with SimApp Pro for aircraft like the Phoenix and the Fly-By-Wire, uh, you can use the SimApp to just connect it real quick and it works perfectly. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So once you get in here, you're going to come up here. You're going to make sure that your hardware version and your uh, firmware versions are up to date. So you just go up here to Firmware Updater. You can see here current version. In the latest version if they don't match just hit download download them up you're going to want to make sure that your other win wing products are disconnected for this uh, just to avoid any uh, conflicts with the other sim with the other uh, peripherals and once you do a firmware update you're going to go back to this page here and then you're going to click calibration this is a very important step so what, what I did for me is I used this top portion first. Now, a lot of tutorials uh, add this step for this bottom portion. When I used this bottom portion, it didn't work. Uh, what happened was the right throttle access uh, wouldn't calibrate right, and it would only go to 80% instead of the full range. So if people are having problems with that, it's because you used this so this that uh, what I'm going to show you is you don't need to use this okay especially with the, the uh, Phoenix product so you're just going to go through the steps so the first one is to calibrate the slider which is your uh, <clears throat> spoiler access and you're going to go and uh, just bring your slider, all your, your spoilers all the way to the full position on the throttle and then start the calibration. And it'll, it'll, it's self-explanatory from there. Just follow each step. So the first one's going to start calibration, finish calibration. Then the next one is going to be, it's going to say, bring it to the half position. You're going to do that. Hit start calibration and finish calibration with that. Then the third step is going to be bring it up to the retracted position. Same thing. Start calibration, finish calibration. And then the final step is you're going to pull it all the way up into the spoiler arm position and do the final start calibration and calibration. Same with the one underneath. The dual axis is actually your flaps position. So you're going to just bring it all the way back to four on the flaps. Start calibration and calibration, and go step by step. Three, two, one, and zero. Doing the whole, the, all the same thing. Start calibration and end calibration. 
And then I found it easy to do uh, the simultaneous calibration. You can also do each axis individually. And what it's going to be is you just follow the markers prompts just like the ones up here. You're going to start in max reverse, hit begin calibration. The next one's going to be bring it to idle reverse, hit next, idle, hit next, climb, hit next, flex max, uh, max continuous thrust uh, position on the throttle, so on and so forth, all the way up to toga. And then it's going to be finish calibration. And then you are calibrated. So all you got to do is go back to test and you'll see that you have your full range all the way to the top. It's very important that you have that full range all the way to the top. And you can then you can also go into the reverse section and you see the fur full range in the reverse uh, detent. Uh, one thing to note, you're going to want to make sure that your throttle is on the throttle metal right which then will command the left side motors for it. And the reason for this is, is that you can calibrate two of these if you had a four engine setup. And then you're going to want to hit single stroke double shift or double shaft. That is mode one. And that is the mode you want to calibrate this in. So once you got all that done and then you, you test your, your access, you see that it's full range you know you're good to go. So the next step we're going to do is, is we're going to go into the simulator. So I'll see you guys there. All right, so here's step two. So step two takes place inside the simulator. And we're not going to even go so much as to load the aircraft in the sim. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to pick our, our uh, Phoenix aircraft that we're going to use just to make sure that, you know, Phoenix fly by wire, whichever one you want to use that's compatible with the Winwing SimApp Pro for this tutorial, I picked the uh, Phoenix. So, what you're going to do is you're going to set up a key binding profile. So, you're going to go to controls, and you'll see in here Winwing Ursa Minor throttle metal left. You have to see the left, the left one, because that that means you're on the proper uh, setting in Simap Pro. And what you're going to do is, is you're going to create a profile with nothing in it. So I just created one that just says A320, and then you you make sure that there are no uh, assigned. You're going to make sure that there's no assigned. Uh, keystrokes. So what this is, the reason these are showing up is I didn't create these. These were created by the uh, keybind profile in Simap Pro. So that's why this is full. But bef because I finished all these steps, that's why this is here. But the, you want to make sure to start that this is blank and there's nothing interfering with anything, uh, anything in this. So A3, you know, A320 Airbus, blank, whatever you want to name it. And then you're going to make sure that nothing is assigned to start for this step. All right. So just save that. Once that's created, you're going to exit out of the simulator and head back to your SimApp Pro. So I'll see you guys there. All right, step three, key bindings. So as you saw in step two, because I've already completed this process, uh, you can go through and manually set all those key bindings up, or you can use SimApp Pro to do it for you. And it'll do this for uh, any profile that you set up for, whether it's the compatible um, fly-by-wire. Uh, there's a whole list uh, unfortunately, I don't. I only, the only ones I know at the top of my head are Fly by Wire and the Phoenix. So, what you're going to go to here is you're going to go back here. You're going to go into Key Bindings, and then you're going to click on the device that you want to set the profile up for. So, Winwing. <clears throat> Wait, where 
Is it okay? Yeah. So here we go. The Wind Wing Ursa Minor Thirty Two Throttle Metal Left. That is the throttle that we're using. So you go here. You're gonna go click on MS Twenty Twenty Four, and it's downloading from the cloud, and you'll get a list of uh, profiles. All right. Now that they're finally downloaded from the cloud, you can see over here. There's a list of key binding profiles. Uh, this one right here was created by WinWing, and it's the one I used. Uh, the rest of them are user defined uh, for different aircraft. You can look and see, uh, you know, here's one for the Max, so on and so forth. So you can use the WinWing uh, with uh, <clears throat> key bind profiles for each aircraft. So. I downloaded the Wind Wing. It works great with the Phoenix aircraft. And when you click over here, you see I've already done it. Down over here would be download. You just click that and it'll bring it over here. So what you want to do is, is you'll click run and a window will pop up uh, saying activate this profile for uh, Airbus, whatever you named it. Uh, you know, mine came up activate uh, for A320, or it'll be a drop down menu, menu. You can pick which one you want to activate the keybinds for. And as long as everything was left blank, it will create the keybinds in that profile. It's pretty, it's pretty wild, actually. So, saving you all that headache of going through and creating each keybind. All right. So once that's all done, you're going to click activate. You'll see the run will turn green. It's gray beforehand. Once that's turned green, you just minimize that and you can go back in your sim. All right. So the final step is to actually get into the sim. And you're going to want to fire up your, so we're using the Phoenix here. So you want to get to your FMC. As you can see, the lights lit up in the uh, on the uh, Ursa Minor because they're all uh, synced using the SimApp Pro. And those lights are adjustable uh, from the Sim uh, integral light system. So you increase it. You can see it gets brighter, it gets dimmer, just like the uh, FMC and the MCDU. It's uh, it's a pretty neat uh, setup. So anyway, what you're going to do is 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 you're going to the finalized step after you've done all those steps, and when you get the green run, it's going to auto inject all the uh, key components or key key binds into the simulator for you, so you don't have to do anything with that. You're going to go into the MCDU, and in the usual format that we're used to, we're going to go here, and we're going to follow the steps to calibrate the controls in the sim. Once you go through that, that's pretty self-explanatory. You're going you, after that. You're not going to need to do that that step with the calibration with the lower part. Uh, all it did was screw up my system. I couldn't figure it out. I spent hours on it when it's unnecessary and it just, this whole setup will take you 20 minutes and you're flying. So once you're all set up with your controls in the simulator, then you can just go about and test your system. So as you can see here, uh, everything is bound and works perfectly. The detents are pretty defined. Uh, it's you can't miss them, and it's very precise equipment. So there's no, uh, you know, just out. You know, there's no hey, we're we're just out of uh, alignment or anything like that. It's real solid and right on the money. And you've got idle reverse all the way through to max reverse all set up for you through sim app pro
you know, and then we got, you can, uh, arm the spoilers, disarm the spoilers, you know, push it down and, you know, it goes all the way back through and flaps work perfectly. Really good stuff. Parking brake works as well. See there, and the rudder trim. Rudder trim works great. Reset button's already programmed for you. Just press and hold it, it resets the whole thing. And engine start. All the buttons work. So that's it. So I hope this uh, helps you out. Hope this saves you a lot of uh, headache that occurred for me and uh, hopefully gets you flying faster. Uh, thanks. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel for more uh, live streams and tutorials. And uh, on to the next one, guys. See ya.